And now she says that you're using a nickname based on her uh, given name, Nimrata. You called her Nimbra in a post the other day. Why do you do that? Well, I do that with a lot of people like Hutchinson. I mean, he was polling at zero for about one year. And I called him, rather than Asa, I called him Ada Hutchinson. And it just felt good to me. And with her, it's just something that came. It's a little bit of a takeoff on her name, you know, her name, wherever she may come from. But uh, it's just what a little bit of a What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Uh, it's a little bit of a takeoff. I look at her name. I look at a lot of people. You know, I do a lot of uh, names for people, like Pocahontas. Uh, she said, my mother said I look like an Indian, so I started calling her Pocahontas. Some people say I'm very good at that, but uh, I can't get into too many because many of those people that I named like that are Republicans, and we don't want to bring that up. But, uh, no, it's just uh, it's a takeoff. I have fun with it. And sometimes, to tell you the truth, it's a uh, very effective tool. In 2016, you said that. I'm going to surround myself with only the best and most serious people. Well, I did do that. This and we time, had tremendous look. We had the best economy we've ever had. This the world time, has ever seen. Your vice president, Mike Pence, is running against you. Yeah. Your ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, she's running against you. Your former secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, said he's not supporting you. You mentioned national security advisor, John Bolton. He's not supporting you either. You mentioned attorney general, Bill Barr, uh, says you shouldn't be president again. Uh, calls you the consummate narcissist and troubled man. You recently called and uh, Barr a, a gutless pig. Uh, you're second defense secretary is not supporting you, called you irresponsible. This week, you and your White House called your White House chief of staff, John Kelly, weak and ineffective and born with a very small brain. You called your acting White House chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, a born loser. You called your first secretary of state, Rex Tillerson, dumb as a rock. And your first defense secretary, James Mattis, the world's most overrated general. You called your White House press secretary, Kayla Kennedy, milk toast. And multiple times, you've referred to your transportation secretary, Elaine Chao, as Mitch McConnell's China loving wife. So, why did you hire all of them in the first place? Because I hired 10 to 1 that were fantastic. We had a great economy. We had phenomenal people in charge of the economy. We had phenomenal people in the military. I'm not a fan of Millie, and I'm not a fan of certain of the television people. But I knocked out ISIS. I defeated ISIS. They said, Mattis, it would take three years, and I don't think we can do it. I did it in a period of, like, four weeks. There's a lot of people not, who praise you for your policies. I just said true. that. That's true. Well, I mean, you just went through a list. But don't forget, for everyone you say, I had 10 that love us.